I got this drone and this case from Timu UK, currently priced at £27.98 in the UK at the time of recording. Now, normally I wouldn't entertain this kind of toy, but I was interested to know how a sub £30 drone performs. I wanted to make a few things clear though before we start. If you're looking for high resolution footage, stability control, GPS flight navigation or obstacle avoidance and so on, this will be a big no-no. This is more old school than Grandad's vinyl collection. But if you like your wallet and you like your wallet to have money in it and you want to experience the flight and drones in general, then this is an option to consider. We've kept realistic expectations for the price mark here and yes, it does feel very cheaply made, it's really lightweight, we want to know if it can actually fly and if it can actually record some footage. As I said, this was from Timu for £27.98 in the UK at the time of recording, there's a few renditions of this though, you can get 1080p cameras, 4K cameras, dual cameras, some of them have obstacle avoidance and such, they're all different price ranges, you can look through and pick whichever ones meet your requirements or whichever one suits you. The version I have here is the K3 E99 Pro single 4K camera. I'm not sure of the quality that we're going to get from this, the camera is mounted to a gimbal so you do have a little bit of range, you can tilt it up or down, you do have to do this manually, you can't do it during flight, but it's nice to know that you can adjust the camera angle. And yeah, the overall build quality I would describe as lightweight and plastic, maybe a little cheap feeling and more of a toy, but we're going to focus on the results. It comes with two batteries, these batteries are supposed to give us up to 15 minutes flight time each, so we should get around 30 minutes with both batteries. They both have a USB micro port on and an indication light to display when it's charging. The battery slots into the back of the drone and clicks and locks into place. It doesn't slide out or come out very easily. You do need to remove this manually. At the bottom there, you can see we do have a camera port where there should be a second camera, but I didn't get that model. And then we've got the Wi-Fi receiver and the RC wire coming out the bottom there. So don't cut that cable off. That is your receiver cable. The controller actually feels a little bit better. It again is plastic and these aerials feel plasticky and cheap. We need to keep our expectations real. This is under £30 guys. The analog sticks seem to work quite well. They have a nice resistance and a range of movement. They feel pretty good. Easy to turn on. We've got an indication light there and we've also got a few buttons and a couple of bumper buttons. This is for your speed, flip, tricks your forward and backward trim. We'll take a look at all of that outside in just a moment. Also included is this little screwdriver here, but this isn't just any screwdriver. You will be able to access and maintain your drone like a drone surgeon with this one. This is a special screwdriver included especially for this drone. <laughs> you also get four of these spare props in case you need any repairs from crash damage. You also get the micro USB lead, very small one to charge. We get a second screwdriver, I'm not sure why that's included. But then we get these four prop shafts. These are important, they do protect your props. So I recommend using these each flight. They go on nice and simple, you make sure they come over the leg of the drone. They have two little plastic catches, then they clip in and lock onto this little notch here. All you do is put the bar over the two pegs at the back and then pull the guard up over the prop shaft until it clicks and locks into place. This will give you some added protection from fall damage. One thing to note here though is while these guards are in place, the drone does not fold away properly and will not fit in the case, so you do need to put these on and take them off with each flight. Now the drone has the prop guards and the battery included, it does have a little bit more weight to it, but it is still really lightweight. I'm concerned that the wind might take this for a better fly than we can, but let's go and install the application so we can record some video. Included in the box is a QR code, you can scan the QR code, but personally in the UK, I would recommend searching for the RCFPV Pro application, that way you will get the English version, otherwise you might end up with Chinese writing all over the screen and you won't understand exactly what permissions to click and things like that. So I do recommend searching for it in the Google Store, you will then be given the English version of the app. 
To connect to the drone, select your Wi-Fi, press the drone's power on, and then you will see it will pop up saying UFO drone. Go ahead and connect to that. That will then give you access to the camera. And then in the application, you've got a few options where you can take photo, take video, change some settings, etc. Hmm. That's definitely not a 4K image, guys. <laughs> I would say that's maybe 720 at absolute best. Okay, let's go and take this outside then. I want to take this for a flight. We're going to just check that it pairs up easily. Backwards and forwards should be the connection method, and it is. We're connected to the drone. We're going to start it up. Yeah, we'll cut that straight out. We're not going to fly it indoors. Indoor flight is a no-no. We're going to take it outside. A few moments later. We'll see if we can get it to do a flip. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the lights are flashing for the battery. Yeah, it doesn't want to fly anymore. So that battery's completely dead. Reload. And we've got a freshly connected drone. Really struggling in that wind. I'm going to go closer towards the trees to see if they can block the wind off. They do slightly block it, but we've got some obstacles here, some puddles and... I don't really want to be dropping my phone in puddles and stuff, but uh, okay. Look at it go, it's actually loads of fun. The wind's trying to take it off. Oh, I'm really battling wind there. It's trying to take it. Okay, let's see if we can get him to do another flip. Awesome. Take him for a walk, eh? Hold up, buddy. There we go. Wait for daddy. And that's a backflip. Oh, now we crashed into the tree. I'm having serious problems getting the camera to record any footage. It keeps disconnecting. It will record while I'm holding the drone, but as soon as I put the drone in the air, it disconnects. Try and bring it down out that wind. Right, so this is what I'm trying to film. But yeah, it's, it's just not giving me any usable footage. It's just losing connection straight away. All things considered, this is a reasonable drone to play with. It is definitely more of a toy than an enthusiast's ideal, but for the joy it brings, the ability to own and fly your own drone for less than £30 is well worth it in my opinion. It's a shame about the camera, but I think you may have more joy than me. I am using an old device here to test this on. Also, you might be able to grab yourself some bargains with the Temu app. You get discount codes and you can even get up to a £100 voucher by signing up. 
There are other discounts available. You could also use my link. I'll leave it below so you can find this drone. Like I've said, this drone is definitely not a professional drone. But I am on the fourth flight. This is the fourth time that I've brought this out now. So we have had more than two hours fly time in total out of the drone. The batteries do give around 15 minutes each. So I was surprised to see that we did get approximately 30 minutes flight time each time. And we've also had around 12 or 15 crashes and the drone is still fully intact. I mean, if it's falling from 10, 20 meters from the sky onto concrete, you may have an issue. If you take it out onto a field, it'll be absolutely fine, I'm sure. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful or if you enjoyed any part of it, please consider liking and subscribing. It all helps us grow the channel. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here today. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.